On Hitmakers today, we have the co-owner, engineer, writer, executive producer of Home Base Entertainment. No, not five people, but one person, Mr. Wayne Green. Welcome to the program. Good afternoon, viewers. What was the idea behind Home Base Entertainment? Um, Home Base Entertainment came on, on stream in the early 2005. When, as a businessman, I was approached by artists on several occasions for sponsorship to be involved in the music industry for making their songs and that kind of stuff. And um, with that in mind, we, we came out. At that time, it was not home base. All right? It was just pretty much Wayne Green. So we came out with um, the Spice Rhythm, which was one of our first production with the likes of Baby Killer, Talpri. Inspector, Ignition, talk about a whole group of young artists. Um, we brought some of the older heads so that we would have given the younger ones a push, but it was mainly for, for um, assisting the younger ones who were not able to produce a song. They had skills, they had talent, they had um, the ability to, to perform and so forth. So we came on and, 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 and did that rhythm. And from there, I think um, I just got a little more involved in the music production side of the aspect of the music. The studio is based at, at my home. It's, it's pretty much that. So when artists come here, they, they, they chill out, they feel at home, they lounge on the little bench in the back there, you know. It's like, you know, the home feeling, we don't make them, it's not the studio feeling, it's not that they come inside here and they have to be cramped and so, so tense about what they come to do. It's just it's supposed to be a relaxing, you know, atmosphere. Well, uh, well I could safely say the, the song is good, good quality music. You know, the genre of music that we might touch, it might be different. I mean, it might get a different feel, but at the end of the day, we want to stand for good quality. So once you hear something that is sounding good and clean, it should probably say oh, it's from home base. You seem to have made an impact, a great impact in a short space of time. Why is that? Are you doing things completely different or has been done in Grenada before? <laughs> Um, I don't know. Music is music, and I guess um, it's not, as I said, it's not my full involvement alone. Um, if I have to go back a little bit and um, let you know the members and the people that are involved with the home base, um, myself, Dillian Walters, and Sean Mitchell, who is the nephew of a jam, a jammer. That's his name is Roots. He's actually the arranger. All right, I'm pretty much the musical director. I'm, I'm one of the engineers, and I do most of the vocal recording at that at that point in time. Um, Dillian deals with the aspect of stage management when we have to work with the artists, how they they present themselves on stage, how they they goes through a whole presentation in relation to what they do and what they don't and that kind of stuff. That's once we, we get involved with, with anybody that we produce because we just try to push music in general and not kind of mindset on just doing big artists or small artists. Anybody that, that we, we, we work with and we realize the song has that form of potential, we give it that extra push. The rest, once it works out and, and, and you reach that point, we do the same for it. I don't think we're doing anything different we just put in a little more musical side to the the whole production production aspect of it um we spend a lot of time working with the artists and making sure that the diction and the the lyrics are pretty much tight when we we, we come to record and, and and basically that's about it do you feel that the way to go now you spoke about the rhythm the spice rhythm do you think that's the shape of things to come in the future where more than one artist will will ride on one rhythm? Um, I'm not saying it's a shape is a shape of thing. I mean we've we've seen it a lot in the in the music industry and even in the rap industry here a lot of artists are using older beats and it's the same rhythm, you know, and they might not get two or three of them on the same same period. But over a period of time, you hear the artist reincarnate in different aspects of one rhythm and using it over and over again. In the soca industry, as I say, we use it for um, 
early releases we use it for the ability to show ability of the, the the producers itself because in most cases the, the rhythms are owned by the producers so producers use that as a, as a way of, of showing the general public their ability in the aspect of production and a different side of them instead of using the creative melody and so forth from an artist when he brings that to them is, is the producer's creativity or his composition at that point so I guess it's just a, it's just a different side of, of, of the music do you find it's difficult to get artists to understand um, the concept behind what you're trying to achieve and that can propel them for them in, in the field um, you could say yes it's difficult and no um, I guess because the, the Grenada music industry does not go by the full guidelines of how the music is supposed to work when let's say a composer's rights and that kind of stuff um, artists would have a, a kind of tendency to feel that the producer is trying to in, impeach on, on what the artist has to get but that is not the case when you go to the to the outer world and you realize how the music is in does nobody's supposed to give up their composition at the end of the day if we create a musical some form of music it belongs to us now if we give you the rights to use it as an artist that that is that is i mean you have to be able to understand so it, it, it it's it's only a matter of time before the the full grenadian artists are a little more open to, to that kind of working relationship with the production studios and so forth but um in most cases they they need you at that time so they would work with you and cases when they they probably reach a point whereby they could probably move on their own they would probably you know try to do otherwise and not realizing that hey what we were doing was not wrong it was just that that's how the business operates